like father, like daughter. Mike Miller, a successful English Channel swimmer, Catalina Channel swimmer, Molokai Channel swimmer, Manhattan Island Marathon swimmer, Maui Channel swimmer, and Ederly Channel swimmer, lives in Hawaii, where he never sees water under 22 degrees Celsius or 71 degrees Fahrenheit. And then began to think about wanting to do New York, uh, the Manhattan Island Marathon swim, and. Uh, to do that, there's some qualifying swims that need to be done, and uh, uh, I could either do three cold water California race type swims or Catalina. And being in Hawaii and watching travel and expenses, I thought, well, gee, it seems to make sense to do one swim instead of three. So Catalina then moved in front of New York in 2003 and uh, I began training for Catalina in 2003. And then in October of uh, 2003, uh, much with your help, Steve, um, I swam from Catalina to, um, uh, to Palos Verdes in uh, what you may recall as some of the smoothest water uh, I've ever seen uh, in what is notoriously a pretty uh, bad channel. Mike has a simple strategy when it comes to marathon swimming. Get in, swim across, get out. Everything else is secondary. Yet his simple strategy masks the complexity of his preparation and the depth of his understanding of the physiology and psychology required by all successful marathon swimmers. Mike prepares himself as many adult marathon swimmers do while balancing work and family. He is constantly trading off more time in the water with the demands of work, his family life, and the very real possibility of injuries and overwork. He always realizes that more resources spent on his own swims means fewer resources for his supportive wife and understanding children. But Mike has an uncommon advantage in terms of family support for his open water ventures. His daughter, Mackenzie, shares his passion for the open water and for marathon swimming in particular. Mackenzie Miller has followed her father from the warm waters off of Oahu to the rough and tumble world of channel swimming. Mike and Mackenzie share a bond that only they can understand, appreciate, and foster. For their major marathon swims, they train together, battling the elements in synchronicity. Coming from Hawaii, they have no problems with huge ocean swells, sharks, currents, or tides. But it is the cold water in unfamiliar waterways that presents a challenge. In this very special episode of Open Water Wednesday, OpenWaterSource.com is pleased to present this father and daughter duo to the global open water swimming community. Your host for this exclusive presentation is Stephen Munitonis, an International Marathon Swimming Hall of Fame inductee. He has prepared open water swimming materials used by NBC, USA Swimming, the Beijing Olympic Committee, the Wall Street Journal, USA Today, National Public Radio, and National Geographic Magazine. And now, Open Water Source is pleased to present your host, Stephen Munitonis, with Mike and Mackenzie Miller. Hello, we're back at Open Water Wednesday uh, here with Mackenzie and Mike Miller of Honolulu, Hawaii. How are you guys? Just fine, Steve. Thanks. Great. Yeah. Thank you. And Mackenzie, we understand that you're on the mainland now, right? Yes. And where are you? I am currently in Costa Mesa. Uh -huh. Are you uh, studying? Are you in college? Are you uh, training for I, another channel swim? I am in college at Orange Coast College right in Costa Mesa. And I am currently on the swim team there, um, studying journalism and creative writing. I've always been interested in doing essays and that kind of thing. And as far as 
channel swimming wise, nothing yet. My next goal is definitely Catalina though, but probably when I'm done with school, when I have more time to dedicate my time to training is when I'll be more serious about it. And uh, Mike, uh, you are the proud father of uh, Mackenzie, but mm -hmm. the Miller experience in open water goes way, way back. Can you um, tell us about uh, what you've done in open water from, from Molokai to Dover and many places in between? Sure. Well, the, um, what got me started in open water swimming was uh, moving here to Hawaii in 1976. I've been primarily a Ohio and Kentucky boy in the pools. Uh, but I did go down to Florida for spring breaks where I got a, a little bit of a uh, taste, if you will, of ocean water sw uh, sw swimming. And, uh, but it didn't resonate so much down there. And I moved out here in 1976 and literally jumped in the water out at Makaha. Uh, it was a no surf day. Uh, it was like two days after Christmas in 1976. I mean, literally jumped in the water off a rock. I was in like a hundred foot visibility and I said, you know what, no more pools. <laughs> I mean, I was hooked at, at that moment. Um, then, you know, spending time around here, I met some of the, the, the Hawaii pioneers of swimming, primarily Doug Rice. Uh, and of course, one of the uh, uh, pioneers of swimming out here has been Ian Emerson, who also was involved in the first and couple uh, Ironman triathlons. Anyway, they convinced me to participate in the Maui Channel Swim Relay back then, and then I was uh, then I was really hooked. So back in '76 and '77 and '78, that's where I got uh, really inspired by open water swimming, and uh, uh, you know, swam through the the '80s out here, and of course, then in the late '80s, my my enthusiasm for the sport was nearly derailed. Uh, when I was hit by a boat off of uh, Waikiki Beach. Yeah, Mike, if you can go back, you, you, you completely skipped over your Molokai Channel uh, conquest that you did uh -huh. uh, with Ian Emerson, one of the uh, uh, men who had the vision to do uh, the Hawaiian Ironman. But yes. uh, can you tell us about that Molokai swim? Because there's, there's only 13 people who have crossed that channel, and uh -huh. uh, there's not a lot of knowledge about that. And certainly you and your daughter are the only – father-daughter team that. So if you could give us some details on sure. that, then that'd be great.